Hey guys, welcome to the Velvet Talk where I discuss the latest celebrity news. But before that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, you like this video, and smash the bell icon for the latest celebrity news. Alright you guys, so Kiki Palmer has filed a restraining order against her boyfriend of two years, Darius Jackson. In court documents, Kiki alleges that there were many instances of physical violence during their relationship, including him hitting her in front of their infant son, Leo. Now, Palmer stated that she ended the relationship with Darius in early October, primarily due to physical and emotional abuse that he had inflicted. Now, Kiki filed a restraining order. Kiki filed a restraining order after an incident occurred occurred on November 5th in which Darius trespassed, trespassed into Kiki's homes without her knowledge or consent and threatened her before lunging for her neck and striking her, throwing her over the couch and stealing her phone. Kiki listed violent behavior Jackson engaged in, including destroying my personal property, including diaries and eye prescription eyeglasses, throwing belongings into the street, throwing the car keys to prevent me from driving away, hitting me in front of our son, and spewing profanities about me to our son, threatening to kill himself with a gun if I left him, harassment, and other physical abuse. Now, Darius was also criticized back in July when Kiki was serrated by Usher during his Vegas res residency. Darius tweeted, It's the outfit, though. You're a mom which was received with a lot of backlash from social media for his comments towards Kiki outfit. He soon later ended up deleting his social media accounts. All right, so, you know, here's my thoughts on the situation, guys. Um, I feel as though um, Kiki um, really has been, she hasn't been open about her relationship with Darius and all the drama that's been going on, which is good. You should keep that information out of the public eye you should definitely keep that information out of the public eye but i definitely feel as though um this situation has gotten out of hand you know um he's doing things that raises a lot of red flags of abuse of physical somebody who's abusive to their partner who's harmful to that partner and it's not good for kiki to be in a situation with him that he's abusive like this so um i think she did the right thing by filing the restraining order and getting full custody of her son um leo you know um it's just sad it's a sad situation that she's in right now with this situation you know because um yeah i just from the pictures he looks like somebody to be that could snap he looks like the type of golf and snap you know and i like with the social media thing how he just went on twitter and just made the tweet about oh you're a mom and this and that and this not how i want to i believe he said something along along the lines of something like this i don't want to show this representation of how my family is or something like that it's another tweet he said about representation with him and how he want his family to look something like that but anyway yeah I feel like this um, is such an unfortunate situation for Kiki. There are photos um, swirling around online of him actually attacking her. And she's over the couch. And you can see the photos of the attack. And it's just sad. You know, it's just sad. Like, you know, she just had she just had it your son. And, you know, you're, you ain't no telling how long this uh, bruise has been going on. Because, you know, what we see in the public eye is a totally different story behind closed doors so that's why a lot of people say don't idolize these celebrities and couples because they in the spotlight and they all laughs and giggles but behind closed doors they can begin hit on beat on a bruise going through a lie it's just a a, a a whole nother story once the cameras and stuff not rolling so you know it's just a very unfortunate situation for kiki you know she's really a sweetheart she's a, a nice woman and I, I like kiki i like kiki Palmer a lot i think she's very funny funny she's very talented you know and for her to be dealing and going through in this situation is just so unfortunate you know so unfortunate so um i just feel like i'm glad she refiled the restraining order i'm glad she got full custody i believe she did end up getting full custody of leo and she did get the temporary restraining order but right now i just hope she's somewhere safe with family hopefully she gets some security so you know um he can't come and be around her 
or you know uh, just to be a little extra you know on the safe side security or help she with her mother you know i don't think she should be alone in her house i don't think that i definitely think someone should be there with her or she should be with family but i i don't think she should be alone because you know you don't know never know how he will snap being that there's a restraining order on him now and he he can't see his i don't believe he can see his son i'm not for sure but the details or his limited visitation with the son I don't, i'm not for sure but you know right now ain't no telling what you know he would do especially being that he did threaten himself with a handgun and i believe i read somewhere that authorities he was ordered to turn over his handguns to um local law enforcement so yeah it's just not a good situation right now um for um um kiki you know so i i I definitely feel for her that she's in this situation and i hope you know um you know if she can make it out of this situation like good this is just you know just just a bump in the road for her like it's this hard situation you go through we all you know we all go through things like this many couples go through this type of violence and physical abuse and things like that it's just not public you know but kiki's in the public eye she's a celebrity so she's but we all go through this we all can relate to what she's going through or we know somebody who i'm been through what she, kiki's going through so um yeah this is my, my thoughts on the situation but i'm glad she's um doing what she needs to do um it seems like he is mentally unstable that's another thing i want to say it seems like darius is mentally unstable and she need right now she don't need that especially having a newborn child with her she don't need that type of um drama and those type of that type of violence against her so she just really i'm i'm, I'm glad she left him beginning of october and she's focusing on her and she got the restraining order because yeah you she she don't need that right now she has a newborn baby she has to focus on that child and you know provide and take care of that child so i'm glad you know she's out that situation but you know um you know what do you guys think about the situation you know it's very unfortunate let me know how y'all feel in the comments below like how do you feel about um just coming out it's, it just seems like this just came out of nowhere like it just broke uh, the story just broke overnight and it just came out of nowhere where kiki um is being you know filing a restraint order against darius I, I feel like it just came just out of nowhere you know so what do you guys feel about this and kiki filing this restraining order and she's getting full custody and yes you know let me know what you guys think and that's going to be it for this video so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one